And more breaking news, a Carnegie Mellon University graduate and trustee who flew to space last month aboard a Blue Origin mission has died in a plane crash. That crash happened in New Jersey, killing Glenn DeVries and another man. Megan Schiller is here with the latest details. And Megan, what are investigators saying right now? Kim, right now investigators say DeVries and Thomas Fisher were the only two on board. It was a single engine Cessna and it crashed in a wooded area in northern New Jersey yesterday. The 49 year old DeVries was a graduate of Carnegie Mellon University and a current trustee who co-founded a tech company. Last month, he was part of the second crew to fly aboard Blue Origin's New Shepard spacecraft alongside actor William Shatner. In a tweet today, Blue Origin says it was devastated to hear about DeVries' death, adding he brought so much life and energy to the team and his crewmates. Investigators say that the pair left the Essex County Airport on the edge of New York City, bound for Sussex Airport in New Jersey, when the plane was reported missing. Crews found the wreckage around 4 yesterday afternoon. Last month, after the historic flight to space, DeVries talked to KDKA about the importance of manned spaceflight and also making it more available to the common person. And in a statement, Carnegie Mellon University President Farnam Jahanian said that the entire CMU community is devastated by the loss, calling DeVries one of the university's greatest champions and advocates. You can find the entire statement and much more on the investigation into this deadly crash as it continues to develop online at kdka.com or on the CBS Pittsburgh app.